Well, as we reported on Island News Midday, today a letter calling on Governor Josh Green to fill a key position that's been empty for months on the state's water board was hand-delivered to his office. While the state says it's following procedure to select someone, student advocates fear their future over water rights and management are in jeopardy as more time passes. The fight over water rights isn't new, but some of today's advocates are. For weeks, students of Kekula Kayapuni o Kekaulike, a Hawaiian charter school on Maui, have been busy. We were just going around educating others about the water issue that was going on. So um, we are trying to get the governor to appoint Anulo El to the Water Commission because as of right now, that seat is vacant. They've been collecting signatures and support for their cause, urging the governor to fill the Loea role, which is designated for an expert in traditional customary water practices, rights, and management, because it's been empty for months. We feel that without a Loea, we don't have anyone managing our water with that cultural and Hawaiian perspective. So on Monday, with the help of members of nonprofit organization Earth Justice Hawaii, a letter urging the governor to pick from a list of candidates was hand delivered. The governor had a list uh, that he received uh, in February after the nominating process, which is the nominating process is set up to try to minimize the amount of political influence um, over water decisions. Over time, several names dropped from that secret list of four, but residents managed to confirm the candidates who were left, candidates they felt were qualified to get the job done. Lori Buchanan and Hannah Springer were both on that list. Unfortunately, the governor delayed um, making a nomination, you know, picking a name from that list, and so the seat has been vacant, and we have no explanation why that is happening. The state restarted the entire application process. In a statement from the deputy director of the Department of Land and Natural Resources, which oversees the commission, it read, in part, the decision to restart the process was made to ensure a sufficient list of candidates for selection, at least three names, are sent to the governor from the nominating committee in compliance with the statutory requirements under Hawaii revised statutes. But advocates don't agree. Right now, he's just stalling. It's been five months already. He's had since February to, he had a list from February to choose a candidate, and he just refuses to. For now, they'll keep fighting until the role is filled. Bye bye, Kekako Oana Ikea Hana. Pono Mako Apo Kalahui Hawaii E. Kako Omai. So this is really important work and on fixing these problems, and we need the community support to get them fixed. Now, we did reach out to the governor's office for comment on the letter. They sent us a statement back saying, quote, the governor welcomes Native Hawaiian water rights advocates to apply for the practitioner's seat on the Water Commission, end quote.